Alan Kurdi, 2015. The war in Syria had been going on for more than four years when Alan Kurdi's parents lifted the three-year-old boy and his five-year-old brother into an inflatable boat and set off from the Turkish coast for the Greek island of Kos, just three miles away. Within minutes of pushing off, a wave capsized the vessel, and the mother and both sons drowned. On the shore near the coastal town of Bodrum a few hours later, Nilufer Demmer of the Dogan News Agency, came upon Alan, his face turned to one side and bottom elevated as if he were just asleep. There was nothing left to do for him. There was nothing left to bring him back to life, she said. So Demmer raised her camera. I thought, this is the only way I can express the scream of his silent body. The resulting image became the defining photograph of an ongoing war that, by the time Demmer pressed her shutter, had killed some 220,000 people. It was taken not in Syria, a country the world preferred to ignore, but on the doorstep of Europe, where its refugees were heading. Dressed for travel, the child lay between one world and another, waves had washed away any chalky brown dust that might locate him in a place foreign to Westerners' experience. It was an experience the Kurds sought for themselves, joining a migration fueled as much by aspiration as desperation. The family had already escaped bloodshed by making it across the land border to Turkey, the sea journey was in search of a better life, one that would now become at least for a few months far more accessible for the hundreds of thousands traveling behind them. Demres image whipped around social media within hours, accumulating potency with every share. News organizations were compelled to publish it or publicly defend their decision not to and European governments were suddenly compelled to open closed frontiers. Within a week, trainloads of Syrians were arriving in Germany to tears, as a war lamented but not felt suddenly brimmed with emotions unlocked by a picture of one small, still form, 